this tutorial, we're going to download and install a plugin for Grasshopper from foodforrhino.com. We have already visited this website at least once in previous tutorial. So here is the place where you can find all the plugins or add-ons both for Rhino and Grasshopper. If you know what sort of plugin you are searching for, in the search tab, you can just type in the name of the plugin and try to find it. And as I can see, I found the one that I want to install now. It's Ngon, it's Rhino Mesh Ngon Methods for Grasshopper. And I'm gonna click on that one. So here I have some information regarding this plugin, these set of tools here. So again, Grasshopper is an open source application. So most of the creators here are simply sharing their created tools. Most of the plugins are free. Some of them have both free and paid versions. But anyhow, the point that I was making is that there are no strict rules in terms of sharing the plugins let's say the description of tools and etc so let's say in this case i have the i have a short description of how to install this, this set of tools here so it says that just add files to this specified folder and um, unblock them which we could come back to later. In other cases, uh, you might see this readme file for installation within the download folder. So it depends, but in here it's very easy. And I would say most of the tools are installed this way. If I scroll down the page, I see a couple of versions. I choose the latest one or the one that suits my software. In this case, I'm choosing the one that's not in progress. Green button here says login. As soon as I log in, this green button becomes download button. So if you don't have the account, you should create one in order to be able to download these tools. And again, you can see some of the reviews or questions that might help you in future or even some tutorial links to the tutorial files. So I'm going to now log in and we continue our tutorial then. So I'm now logged in to Food for Rhino website. And as I've mentioned before, now I can download the selected version of the plugin. So let's click download. And automatically it's being downloaded. I can see it in my lower left corner. And uh, depending on your settings where you directed, uh, direct your downloaded files, uh, you will find this file. So I find uh, Ngon archived uh, tools in the download folder i right click on them and choose to extract and when i have my files extracted now i open the folder and inside of it i see um, a lot of files that i need to check if they are blocked or not and if indeed they are blocked to unblock them to do that, we need to select the file, right click on it, go to properties, and then in the under general section, next to attributes here, if you see that this file is blocked, you should see an option to unblock, and you should select the unblock option. More often than not, if you have found one file which is blocked this probably means that all of them 
will be blocked as well. And uh, if you go through a couple of them and you don't see them blocked, then it's more likely than they're not blocked. And this uh, blocking depends on um, security settings within your operating system. And it, and it happens automatically. So they are not blocked, I don't have to do anything. But just in case, I'm gonna go through them and check if it's really the case. So I suggest you to do the same. So I have uh, checked all of these files over here, but then we have also a folder, additional subfolder called math here. I'm gonna go and check these files as well. And then also in a Windows folder. So I have now checked all the files, they're all unblocked. And let's check another uh, folder, which here is examples. So with some of the plugins, again, it depends on the author, uh, but you can find some examples, example files within that archived uh, folder of, of, of the plugin. So here we have a dozen example files. And these are just grasshopper files. You don't need to unblock these ones. Lastly, I need to select this folder with all the plugin files unblocked and put it in the right location so that grasshopper would find it. In the grasshopper window under file, Special folders. We have talked about special folders in our previous tutorial. Let's go to components folder. So the grasshopper libraries is the location where we need to put plugins information, uh, pl plugin data or files. So this is the actual installation. So we're just gonna copy and then paste. Since many Grasshopper plugins have multiple files, I advise keeping them all in the same plugin folder. After placing plugin files into the right location, we might need to restart uh, Grasshopper and Rhino. So I'm gonna do that now. I have now opened Rhino again and launched Grasshopper. And you can now see in the component palettes, I have a new palette added. And this is Ngon toolset. There are a lot of tools here. And we are going to talk about these tools in future tutorials. Okay, so the installation is complete. Just before I go, I'd like to remind you about uh, another useful website, which is called grasshopperdocs.com. And here's the community documentation for grasshopper add-ons and plugins. So you can try to find a set of tools, plugin that would serve your project. So that's it. See you in the next tutorial.